Sports. The 2015 champions will be crowned today at the National Stadium in the Power Aid Barbados Secondary Schools Athletics Championships. In the Boys Christchurch Foundation started the day in the lead. They had 154 and a half points just ahead of Leicester Vaughan on 152. However, since this morning's activities, Leicester Vaughan have overtaken the lead. They're now on 182. Meanwhile, Springer Memorial continue to stamp their authority among the girls and are comfortably ahead of the pat and seem sure to secure yet another title. Heading into day five, Springer had 268 points ahead of the St. Michael's School on 152, Christchurch Foundation on 115, Leicester Vaughan 111 and Courage and Parry 110. Here's a look at some of this morning's action, including the under 20 girls and boys 400 meter hurdles finals. Set. And they're cleanly away, the under 20 girls 400 meter hurdle. Let's see how they attack it first up. Lane one wobbly over the first there. That's Pollard of Spring Memorial up front though. We expect to be Shade Williams of Courage and Parry going well up the back stretch. 210 in this one. And the girls are steady as we go. It is Williams though who looks in firm control. Looks like a Rolls Royce going up the back. Quality. And as they skip over the last couple of hurdles, here comes in the middle of the track to press for one of the medals. It's Hoyt of St. Michael's School. But right now it's Williams with the gold medal within sight. Williams is over the penultimate hurdle. It is Sadia Williams of Courage and Parry who will strike gold at the National Stadium. It is all Williams Day shuts off the engine. Point for second, third spot going to Scanterbury of St. Michael's School. So the, the starter's orders now. And the 17 boys, 400 meters. And they're underway. The under 17 boys, 400 meter hurdle. Let's watch the first obstacle. And already everyone is away cleanly. Out in lane eight, Nathan Ferguson of Commonmere going well, but he'll have a tough task. Oh, in that lane, it Courage and Parry are tracking well. CP is there. Queen's College in Akeem Calendar trying to make some moves, but really it is Courage and Parry who will bring them around this 150 meter mark. It's the two athletes from Courage and Parry, Jones and Calendar, making all the moves in the middle of the track. It's a CP double blow. Can they really produce a knockout punch? Will it be Jones or Griffith? Jones or Griffith, Jones has the edge, he wobbles, it's a fall, it's Jones who gives way to Griffith, Griffith will win it, Jones for second. Well, all the exciting action continues today on CBC TV 8 and Radio 94.7, they'll continue to have uh, live coverage. Switching Sports, Louis St. John captured the President's Award when the National Domino Hearts and Whisk Clubs Association of Barbados held its 2014 prize giving award ceremony recently at the St. Leonard's Boys School. RLCUQEH was the most outstanding team after winning the Senior Division title and the Mount Gay Premier League. The Intermediate Division title went to Corbin's Garage Police, while Truckman Spring Cottage took the Junior Division. Peter's Bar was named the most improved team, taking the Banks Three Hand Super Royale and the Division Three title as well. The Referee of the Year went to Edwin Kelman, while the Member of the Year was the Second Vice President Gregory Blenman. Barbados Community College won the Schools League and the Lodge they took the Knockout Award. The national team has been challenged to remain dominant in regional tournaments, having been champions for the past five years. The game knows, plays a significant role at the household, community and national events level and in recent years, the international level. In this regard, let me congratulate our national team on your continued success as reigning world champions since 2010. I had noted, however, that the development of the other component of your association, namely Hearts and WIS, has not kept pace with the development of Dominoes. I'm therefore happy to learn that you will be stimulating the interests and promoting the development of WIS and Hearts, as such sports can serve to unite households and communities a necessity given the distraction in today's environment. The 2015 season is already underway. And that's a look at sports. Lisa returns with a look at the weather.